Alright, what's going on guys? It's Juicy P here, and I'm playing some Black Ops 4. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay in the background. I want to take you guys back to a time, a much simpler time, back in the day, especially for those of you who have been gaming for a while now, like myself. You guys can remember there was a time when gaming was so simple, you would get the whole product, I mean the whole game, not like games nowadays, where... You'll have a game, the base game, and then data miners later on will find out that the DLC that they are having us pay for extra content was originally in the base game, but they're selling it to us like it wasn't a part of the original game. Absolutely insane, right? Nowadays, games are much more complicated. A lot more companies are trying to extract the most amount of money from us as possible. They just don't want some of our money. They want all of our money. It's absolutely crazy to me that before back in the day, we didn't have all of this nonsense with daily loots um, or daily login bonuses. These are just incentives for these companies to have us play the game more to log into the game so that way their numbers look good they see more players online for their games not only will they get and attract us to play the games more they're gonna have more chances to sell us stuff that we should already have in the game nowadays we need constant updates back in the day we didn't need updates we didn't need new weapons, new maps, new characters, new skins, season passes, contraband streams, all that nonsense that we have nowadays. And by the way, I'm not talking just about this Call of Duty franchise. I'm talking about all video games in general. Have you guys ever noticed back in the day, we didn't have any of this stuff. If we generally liked the game, if it was fun, we would go back and play it. We didn't need all of this incentive to play the game, go back and play the game. This is all part of that replayability. Nowadays, if we don't have these constant updates, we feel the game is stale, they're not updating it, it's not up to date, you know, and, and we're just not gonna play it. That's the state of gaming now. That's the state of gaming now. It wasn't like this before. A lot of you guys who have been gaming for a long time remember this. I mean, I was reflecting today just thinking about it and it's just crazy. It's a crazy concept to me, the evolution of gaming and how these companies are extracting the most from us. It was never like this before. So what changed? To me, what changed the most was the introduction of micro transactions. That's it. That's really the only thing that changed. Micro transactions changed the face of gaming now and forever we are never gonna go back to the way games were and to me that's sad because i enjoyed a time when i would pay 50 60 dollars for a game and i would get the whole game nowadays we get incomplete games they sell it to us in in forms of dlc when we know <laughs> it was included in the base game but they take it out knowingly to be able to charge us extra for stuff we should already have absolutely crazy and now with this new event that's coming up shamrock and awe it costs money it costs money why this should just be an update to the game this should just be included in the game why am i having to pay for more content when i already paid 60 dollars for the game and on top of that, there's a loot system in this game now. There's a blackjack shop where I can spend money on skins, reticles, and freaking stickers, man. Freaking stickers. I'm paying one or two bucks for a sticker? <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Yes, I understand it's all cosmetic. I do get that. And I don't have to pay to win. I don't have to purchase these things, but still the concept of it all, it's ridiculous. Why are there stickers in the game behind a paywall? Like why? Like why do, it's just, 
I don't know, man. It's just if I think about these things, it'll, it'll give me an aneurysm, and I don't want that. I don't. I don't want to raise my blood pressure on top of this ridiculous stuff. But I do have to talk about it because a lot of people have lost sight of where gaming started and where we are now. And it's a good thing to reflect on the good times and where we were before and how far we've come and, and not in a good, good way. Back then it was a much simpler time. Now it's become more complex. Companies have become a lot more greedy. And again, I can't blame them. If there is a way for these companies to make more money, they're obviously gonna do that. But we as the consumers are ending up losing big time and our wallets are definitely feeling the heat so let me know your guys' thoughts on all of this stuff and if you guys have been gaming for a long time like myself can you guys remember and reflect with me all the good times and back before when gaming was much more simple where we would have the complete game and didn't have to worry about these constant updates nowadays we need constant updates to keep playing the game so that is my topic for today Again, let me know your guys' thoughts down below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hit the like button if you like the video. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. Catch you guys on the next one. This is GCP, signing off.